Yes. In this video, I am going to explain you about uh, Facebook's account care. So, currently everyone is moving towards mobile technologies. Most of the websites or mobile are targeting mobile users. So, here uh, instead of uh, having a traditional username and password for login, we can use a OTP to uh, verify the user's phone number and then we can log them to our application. So here instead of using an SMS gateway, Facebook provides a feature called Conquer. So what does it does? So we don't need to do everything. We leave the handle to Facebook. It sends SMS to the user. It verifies uh, SMS, and we, we we are just given with one simple interface to do that. So now I'm going to show you how to integrate this account create with our PHP. So in their official document they have documentation for implementation in PHP and Node.js. So I just copied the code from here and uh, for this uh, demo purpose. So first of all uh, we need to create a new application for this. So this is a brand new application facebook application i just created for this demo purpose so here you can uh, see facebook account care so we just need to add this product to our application so i'm getting started with it and this requires yeah of course server side uh, validations getting started yeah here we go so here it provides an app id and have secret key for account care. So here this is a screen which user is going to see from their end. So whenever someone clicks on verify logging a new pop-up window from account care opens with this uh, text and everything. So we can uh, use that for uh, email uh, verification also. So Facebook account care provides two options. One is login via email and one login via SMS. So I am going to show you a demo so and uh, we can customize everything like the color of the background so we can customize whatever we want and uh, the text like if you want to log into this test tutorial app you can knowledge this if you want only the app name you can choose that one we can change everything button color button text to match our application or our website and uh, if something goes wrong in the error message displays it will be displayed in this format so you can also customize you cannot customize the error message message which is going to display but we can change the colors everything so i'm just showing a demo on how to do this so this is the customized window for our application so i'm going to save this one and one more thing, to allow access, you should first given the domain name from which this account kit account is used for. So for demo purpose, I am using localhost for now. So I am going to say this one. So here is the code. So this requires a Facebook app ID, CSR of CSRF token which is for security purpose of validating the form and account kit API version. Account kit API version can be from, from, from here. This is the account kit API version. And the app ID is this app ID. So I'm just going to copy this. I already have copied those things and it as a file for this demo. And this is the JavaScript part of our application, the part which displays the form to user to log in, and this is for verification. And just copy this app secret for server side validations. Okay, that's it. Now everything is set up, and for demo purpose, I'm going to. I am created a sample application like this. 
So this message board display the messages uh, whatever are happening in the JavaScript. So first open gate was initialized. For that we need to have include the JavaScript from Facebook SDK. Now the account is loaded. It is loaded. So now let's say there is also a login form. So we are providing user with a phone number. So he can either put up one phone number or he can use his email ID to log in. So I am going to give my phone number. Now I am going to click login via SMS. Once I click on this, a new pop-up window will open uh, from a Facebook account case. So the control was taken from taken to the Facebook. Once that uh, verification is completed, then again control switch back to this window. So this is here. Triggering phone number validations. So this is the window which we designed for customized purpose. So now I'm clicking on next. So Facebook is uh, sending me an OTP for my mobile number which I just now given. And see, I am received the SMS from account code, and that's three one five. One three nine. So now, once I click on continue, the verification happens from the Facebook and it will give an uh, token code. So here it is. So it's verifying and it's verified. So and for that, Facebook will uh, return an auth code to verify uh, the SMS and phone number from their uh, backend server using your uh, php or whatever the language which you are using so for now i'm using your uh, php for that and this is the response from uh, facebook account so here uh, it shows the phone number country prefix and uh, national number without country prefix so this was it uh, this is for uh, general purpose so I'm going to show you the code a little bit. So this is the home page. First of all, we need to change this app ID, and then now this is a CSR of token. Normally, like applications like Django and uh, the Laravel framework, which will uh, be providing a CSR of token to verify the forms for security purposes, basically. So the version number which we copied from their dashboard. And these are uh, uh, the code given by Facebook. So, in server side, I'm just giving this Facebook account kit ID, secret ID, and this is the code received from uh, Facebook. Actually, that was a uh, auth code from which we need to get the access token first from the Facebook. So, uh, this was the URL. And these are the parameters which we need to give. So here I am um, giving the code which we received from the Facebook account kit, authentication code. And with the help of that, we are getting access token for uh, this particular uh, phone number verification thing, to verify the phone number. So once this is done, we are using access token to verify the phone number. If the everything goes well, we will be receiving that information from fail. If something goes wrong, uh, the error message, error parameter will be in the output of, the basically it will be a JSON output. There will be a error parameter in that which will help us to identify the errors given by Facebook. That's it guys. This is one of the best feature provided by Facebook for developers so I'll be putting this code on uh, github and the link will be at the bottom so please subscribe to the channel and if you have any doubts please comment out thank you